Hey y'all. July the 21st, 2015. A few days ago, I got a message on Facebook uh, from a dear friend of mine who I hadn't heard from for about the bulk of a year. Alright. And they hadn't heard from me. A uh, lot of times I'll, I'll go very, very long periods of time without talking to certain people. And it's not that I don't care about them. It's just that, uh, you know, I'm a loner. And uh, I have a tendency to get focused on my own things and for the most part forget about you. At least for a little while. It happens. I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, she sent me a message after the bulk of a year. And I ignored it. To be honest with you, I ignored it and she sent me another couple messages. So I ignored those too. Uh, oh no, I was just kind of off doing my own thing. But then she continued to send me messages until she sent me a, a rather long message detailing that she had a problem that she was hoping that I could help her with. And the, the thing is, I think she came to the right place. In fact, I'm pretty sure of it. Now, that's not to say that I'm a genius. I'm not a rocket scientist. I'm not a, an expert on, on anything, really. But I do, I do believe she came to the right place. And the reason for this is that I've experienced a lot of uh, the hardships that she's going through right now. I'm familiar with her situation. Not only that, I care about her in the way that I don't want anything from her except to know that she's happy. That would be nice. And so I do feel like she came to the right place, but I also told her in the message, uh, you know, you're asking for help to resolve this problem, which from what I understand is a reoccurring problem with you. Um, and with many ladies in general, I was—I venture to say the majority of women out there have the same exact problem. But I also warned her the answer that I have to give to you, while being very complex. Uh, also, you're not gonna want to hear it, and I give this warning out a lot for people asking me questions. Because the truth in and of itself can be very scary. Uh, it's much stranger than fiction. It can terrify some people. So I'll preface my answers lots of times by saying, you're not going to want to hear what I have to say right now. But if you're going to continue to ask me, I don't have it in me to lie to you or to pretend to you. I'm simply going to give you the answer that you do not want to hear. But if you listen long enough, and if you put the pieces together, if you put the drops together, eventually you're going to come to a sea of understanding. All right, and I'm not saying I'm anything special or an expert or anything like that. It's just I have to step back from time to time and put two and two together, put all these situations together. To me, everything's connected. And when you step back far enough, you, you can start to see how to fix your problems. You can see the solution that you couldn't see to begin with. Now her particular problem is this. Uh, and this has happened before. Uh, now she's in a situation but she's found a man um, who she really, I would say, loves and that she respects. And to sum it up, she wants to marry this man. Or she can see herself marrying this man. And she wants to have his babies. Or at least she can see this in her future. And it looks very good to her. And I gotta say, that makes me pretty dang happy. That sounds beautiful. That sounds awesome. 
Um, but the situation that arises is that she becomes jealous. Now, this man will um, have interactions with other females from time to time to time. Uh, and she'll become jealous of these females and she'll blow it out of proportion or she'll make it into a hostile situation. And the man will recognize this as a problem that's not going to resolve itself. Not only that, he's not going to be able to resolve it. So pretty much what he winds up doing is backing away from the situation. Getting a little space and seeing if, if this situation might resolve itself, and if it doesn't, he's going he's gonna to make a break, break for it. Honestly, I can't really blame him. That's actually a smart move. I mean, when you think about it, if there's a, if a, if there's a woman who's jealous and she can't really resolve this situation, it's only going to get bigger because the thing is, half the people on Earth are women. You can't avoid women everywhere you go. It's not going to happen. Um, so anyway, it's like I was saying, uh, I do believe I can solve this for her. Not just me, but, um, I do believe that this situation can be resolved. But it's going to be complicated. It's not going to be easy by any means. Uh, there's going to be a lot of pain involved. There's a lot of pain involved in life. But, I do believe the situation can be, can be resolved. And that she has no reason to be jealous of any other female that comes in contact with her future husband. Um, she has no reason to be, but she's being sabotaged. Not only by herself, especially by herself, but by outside forces and programming that has trained her to sabotage herself. The thing is, uh, I would have to say 95, 96, 97% of women out there, and that's a lot, have been trained to sabotage themselves. Not only that, they can't by any means begin to recognize the many, 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 many ways that they've been trained to sabotage themselves. Now, this kind of goes for men and women alike. Uh, when you consider people in general, we all know certain truths that are undeniable. However, when you start getting to more of the scary truths, uh, more of the very interesting truths, there are fewer and fewer people who want to recognize these things. Let me just throw a few of them out there. Uh, the Queen of England, uh, she's a eugenicist. Uh, she loves murdering people. She used to hell Hitler back in the day. A lot of people aren't going to want to recognize this. All right, I'm documenting. I'm sorry about that. Uh, President Barack Obama is a homosexual. And I'm sorry about that, but he lies about it. And also, he's the same... He's basically the same thing as Queen England. He loves to murder people and stuff like that. And, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he's a communist. He hates America. A lot of people don't want to recognize that. I'm sorry about that. Planned Parenthood, they chop up uh, baby fetuses and they sell them under the table. That's completely illegal. A lot of people don't want to recognize that. Scary, scary, scary truth that I tend to talk about openly because I have no choice but to follow the truth. Now, uh, most people will defend themselves away from the truth, they'll hide away from the truth, they'll deny the truth uh, by, by all means necessary. Because they feel like this is some sort of security blanket, they feel like, well, okay, this will help, help me sleep at night if I do not think about any of these things. And it's going to make my life easier. So I'm not going to think about things, I'm not going to want to listen to someone trying to tell me something, nothing. I'm going to watch the television, and if they don't say anything, uh, that that concerns me on television, that means that nothing is happening. And therefore, I should just uh, do my own thing and, and not think about anything at all. See, this is, uh, in a way, this is what's leading to the problem that my friend had. And it's what's leading to the problem that most of us had. It's a complete denial of the truth, no matter how 
bold and in your face it is. And this is going to lead to certain problems. I plan to make different other videos to elaborate on this and to give more detail into what I'm talking about. But just to finish up this first video as the beginning step of how uh, me and her are going to resolve this problem for her. Or we're going to resolve this problem for anyone out there who might have the same problem. Is that the truth is ugly and scary and it's, and it's terrifying sometimes. But once you begin to understand it, you begin to conquer it. You begin to overcome it. You begin to uh, reach beyond the potential that you've been told that you have. Alright. And what I'm getting at right now in this first video is the fact that Women are, uh, in general, you take a woman, the idea of a woman, she's beautiful. Uh, not only that, she's uh, miraculous when you think about it. The fact that your body naturally is completely immaculately designed to make babies, right? To, to bring forth life. Uh, and many other things to just be everything a man could ever want. It's amazing, right? Uh, I mean, it is, to think about the female in general, it's hard not to believe in God. I don't, I don't understand how you couldn't because who else could invent that? It's amazing. It's crazy amazing, right? Uh, at the same time, the ugly truth is that um, women are being trained since birth here in America and many other places to um, sabotage themselves, to sabotage their own lives. Uh, so not only are they sabotaging their lives, but they have outside forces uh, helping them to continue sabotaging their own lives. And what that will bring about is a lot of problems, including jealousy. All right. Um, We need to learn to overcome this. And so I'm going to start pointing out things that might help you overcome this. And we're going to begin to start seeing the truth for what it really is. And what it really is is that you were born into a war. On the opposite spectrum of this war are people who hate human beings. Who want to destroy the natural activity of human beings by little bits and pieces through social programming. They're, they're quite successful. They've been very successful. And once you step back and start recognizing all the ways in which they do this and are very successful at doing this, you will begin to see just how beautiful you are. You'll begin to see just how irreplaceable you are. You'll begin to see why it doesn't make sense that you would ever be jealous of another female. You'll begin to see why you yourself provide to the man who you love everything that he could have ever wanted and that he'll never look anywhere else but to you, for all of these things, once you begin to start to embrace the truth, and that's what I plan to help you do in these subsequent videos. Now, uh, this video did not solve the problems. Uh, not, there is not a message I could have sent you to solve your problems, but we're gonna take baby steps. And at the end of this, uh, either your man will uh, return to you just like you want him to. Either that or you're going to realize that he wasn't worth having to begin with and that, you, you know what I'm saying, you are going to find who it is that you were meant to have. Anyways, uh, this is July 21st, 2015. We're solving problems here. We're, we're going to be solving some problems. Stay tuned.